Hello and welcome to Denmark, Scandinavia. We are experiencing a very rare moment. It's actually a beautiful weather here in the winter. So a beautiful winter's day and I'm out here with some RC models. Now for those that follow this channel, for those friends that follow this channel, will know that I am out here testing my GoPro Hero 8 Black. Kind of brand new and a new experience for me. And I'm just testing the GoPro strap-on on the head. My first strap-on ever. Got uh, some stabilization on. I do not shoot in the hyper smooth stabilization right now but I hope it's stable enough. And I am shooting in 4K, 60 frames per second. So I don't know how it's working out, but I think it's a good format for the future. So <laughs> these videos, not perhaps this one, but other videos will still be able to be viewed on 4K. Uh, televisions in the future and for those who have a 4k television right now it's becoming the standard right now you can watch it in 4k on your television i am practicing moving around i have no idea what i'm shooting right now if it's too low or if it's dropped in an angle or anything but i am enjoying the free movement of my hands and I know I have to practice a little on the heavy breathing as the GoPro is very near to my mouth so I hope I am able to control the heavy breathing a little. I did test it a little and the smallest amount of breathing just gets into the camera so I hope you can live with that. And besides that, the GoPros aren't really known for the best microphones, so I will probably probably have to switch it out at some point. So I'm shooting in 4K 60 frames per second and my software doesn't allow me to edit these, so I will try to do this in one take. And again, this channel is just for those who like watching, following along. You can check out my main RC channel in a link in the description box and enjoy some highly edited RC model videos there. Oh, beautiful weather. Still, the sun is low, so I got a long shadow here, but we may have to live with that. We got a lineup of four cars for today. I'm just out having fun and burning out some batteries. Now these are the HBX Ratchet, the Hailstorm, the Spectra and the Protector. The Ratchet and Hailstorm are 118 scale, it's the same chassis, while the Spectra here is a 114 scale and the Protector a 112 scale. Completely different these two, but I will concentrate on the Ratchet for this video. So for those actually coming for this video to see the car in the thumbnail, this is the HBX Ratchet. It got the same chassis as the hailstorm but just a slightly more scale look with smaller tires smaller wheels and a different buggy body here that actually can be flipped up you can watch the official review on my main rc channel so this is just a little fun and rehearsal for me practicing gopros english and heavy breathing. I actually forgot all about the breathing while I'm talking, so you may have to live with all the breathing. So we got friction shocks and these actually I have 
had these two out for quite some time, testing it out, and these are actually getting stuck. As you can see, these are open, so a little dirt, and they will stay they be stuck. So if you're looking for some running off-road in the dirt, you better switch these out for some wheel shocks, perhaps oil fill shocks, but definitely some closed ones that doesn't allow a lot of dirt to get in. But for my running purposes, these have been absolutely fun, all four of them. Now, I will divide this video into four videos, so you may have to check out the coming upcoming videos for these three others. Again, let's just see it running. Got a small transmitter here. Not the best, but it does the job. And it has a very limited range, so don't expect this to be yeah, for the long distance runs. But for the small runs inside, outside, it's pretty good. Feels good in the hand, plastic, but the price compared to this is pretty decent too. Be sure to fill them up with some very fresh batteries too. So if you got a voltage drop down in your batteries for these, these probably will, will only do a couple of meters of range. But let's just see it run. I hope you can see it. I have no idea what I'm filming. So the preview on my iPhone won't allow me to see what's the footage while I'm filming. Not the best grip. You can see it's been raining for the last couple of days. So still some wet tiles here. And these... These wheels are just not meant for wet conditions. It's splash proof, so I can take it out in the wet, wet, muddy winter lawn here in just a moment. But it's a sparky little fellow with a decent run time and decent speed. Now I'll just shut up for a moment and you can see it drive. will go. Got enough power to do the gravel and the off-road. As you can see it's gonna get a very bumpy ride just because of the size and the shocks. But on smooth surfaces I think the suspension is doing its job okay. Now, if you can jump it, but on this very long winter lawn, it will pretty much just bounce up and maybe tip over here. But it jumps pretty good. And as you can see, it has some trouble on this lawn. But the most important is